Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you Cuisinart's new 18 cup food processor, which is really cool because it does everything from chop, dice, great saute, steam, you name it. It's all computer programmed. There's even recipes in here that are computer programmed for you with instructions. And today I'm gonna to make a butternut squash risotto with some steamed asparagus. All right, let's get started. Let's go into the recipe settings here and look for butternut squash risotto. And it's gonna give you a step-by-step -step instruction from start to beginning on how to make it. You just click here, you can see the ingredients, the nutrition info. Once you have everything ready to go, it's time to actually start making it. So the first step is going to be grating your Parmesan cheese. All right, and we're gonna be using the chopping tool here. We're gonna place that in like so, and we're gonna put these small slices. We're gonna to wanna to grate about half a cup. So now that you have your cheese all grated, you can put it in a bowl, set it aside, because we're gonna be using it later on. And now we're gonna be dicing our butternut squash. So make sure you take out the chopping blade because we gotta put in the dicing blade, okay? Which is two components right here. You can just put it in. And we're gonna be using the food processor lid for this. Okay? And we're going to feed in our butternut squash through the small part up here. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to have them cut to planks. As you put it through, it'll dice it for you. Here we go. So now it's time for step five, where we chop our garlic and our shallots. You just need one shallot and one clove of garlic, all right? And we're just gonna to toss that in here. We're gonna put in our chopping blade. Smelling garlicky. So now we're gonna switch out the blades for the paddle tool. We're gonna put that in and we're gonna add our one tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, so now that your garlic and your shallot is all sauteed with the olive oil, it's time to add in your rice. And we're gonna use one and a half cups of aborio rice. And you're gonna wanna use aborio rice because this is the rice that you use for risotto that makes it light and fluffy and so delicious, all right? So let's put that in. And we're gonna let that saute with the oil and the garlic just a little bit, okay? Mmm, it's already smelling so fragrant. So now it's time to add your two tablespoons of white wine. Yeah, it's time. Ooh, we're going to add in our reserved butternut squash that we have here right into the bowl. You can use chicken broth if you want. If you wanna keep it vegetarian, then use vegetable broth, which I'm using right here. And now it's ready to cook for the last 20 minutes and we're gonna press play. Okay, so now for the final step, it's finished cooking. It's time to take off the lid and ooh, it smells amazing. And we're going to add in our half a cup of Parmigiano cheese that's already grated. Okay. We're gonna put in a little bit of lemon. Squeeze that in. And we're gonna add a bit of thyme. Mmm, so good. All right, I'm so excited to try this. Let's just lift this pot out of here. Amazing, wow, this smells so good. All right, there we go, voila, it's beautiful. Ready to eat. So next we're gonna steam some asparagus to go on the side of our butternut squash risotto. So we're gonna fill this um, up with three cups of water. Okay, then we have our steam basket here, which is uh, placed right here like so. And then you're gonna have your chopped asparagus washed, ready to go, to go right into the basket. Awesome. And we're ready to go. Okay. Asparagus, ooh, are all ready to go. Amazing. Super hot. Look at them, they're green, bright, and juicy. Mmm, and there you go. Look, we have the perfect meal ready to go. And I have to taste this, obviously. Let's give it a whirl. Mmm, it tastes like a dream. Mmm, amazing. Bon appetit. <laughs>